So here I'm going to show you how to make a really quick and easy ragu with some aborted entoloma mushrooms and some shellfish. So aborted entolomas have a texture kind of like shrimp. So it's fun to cook them with seafood. Also, their flavor isn't as delicate like a chanterelle. So you can cook them with stuff like garlic, tomatoes, hot chilies. They'll be good with that. Whereas like a chanterelle or a bluet, you really couldn't do that with them. So what I'm going to start out doing is I'm going to put a little oil in the pan. See the pan's nice and hot. And I'm going to add the entolomas. My pan's pretty hot, so these are probably going to take on their color pretty quick. If you don't put any color on these, they'll probably taste a little bit bland. And nobody wants that. But once you put some color on them, they get really nice and nutty, and they're very good. So now I can see the entolomas has got some nice color on them, nice and golden brown. Now it's time to start adding some other things. So I'm going to turn the heat down to about medium, and I'm going to add a little garlic. Now be careful, because the garlic is good, probably going to cook pretty fast, because your pan is hot. And we're going to cook the garlic until, until it's nice and golden. I'll season it with a little salt, too. You could also just take a, a clove of garlic and whack it, and then put that in the pan, and then remove it when it gets golden brown. But the little, the little slices here will cook and get soft after I add some other things. Now I can see my garlic is getting nice and golden brown. I do not want to let it burn. So now I gotta add something to stop it from cooking. So I'm gonna add a couple shrimp. Season those with a little salt. And then I'm gonna add a couple mussels. Make sure your mussels are awake. You awake? Are you awake? I don't think he's awake. Okay. Now I'm going to turn the shrimp over real quick. This is going to cook pretty fast. Now I'm going to add the tomatoes. A couple heirloom tomatoes. Oh, salt. Now I'm going to add a little bit of wine. 
a little white wine. Now I'm going to put a cover on it. Ah. Well, you want a cover that fits your pan perfectly. That one's a little small. So in a pinch, I can just use another pan. Boom. There you go. Now turn the heat up. And all I want to do is just make those muscles open up. And by that time, the shrimp should be cooked. And then I can add the last piece of seafood, which cooks the fastest. And those are some little bay scallops. Just a little bit more. And then after I add the base scallops, I'm going to add a little mint. So I like mint. And I especially like mint, garlic, and tomatoes. And hot chilies, too. Speaking of which, I should put some hot chilies in it. I am all out of dried hot chilies. So, I got a little hot sauce. I can use that. I'll give it a shot or two. Just to give it some zip. Now I can see that my mussels have opened. If your mussels do not open, do not eat them. Because they could make you sick. So now I'm going to add my base scallops. I'm going to put the top back on just for a sec. And basically with the scallops, all you want to do is just warm them through. That's all you got to do. They cook very, very fast. I'm going to slice my mint. You could also use parsley, chives, oregano. Oregano would be really good. You could add a little olive oil to finish to help it make a creamy sauce. I'm going to add a little butter. Boom. Butter. I love it. Now, I can see that the, scal the scallops are already done. i got to turn the heat off. Taste it. Oh, man. Excellent. Now I add my herbs, and the dish is done. Now this would be really good. This would be really good on top of some polenta, or tossed with some gnocchi, or spooned on top of some pasta. Just a nice summery dish, and also a fun way to use your aborted antelope mushrooms.